Most Dangerous Cities in Europe Part 1 Number 15 Hamburg, Germany Hamburg is an artistic city, but like Amsterdam, it has its own red light district. This can cause crime to increase at night. There isn't much violent crime that occurs in the city, but petty theft and vandalism can be high at times. The more dangerous areas like Reaper Bond are often patrolled by police though. So if you stay in well-lit areas at night and stay vigilant, you're unlikely to attract any criminal attention while spending time in Hamburg. Safety tip, prostitution and drugs cause many of the city's issues. And if you're out at night, you may come across very persistent sex workers. It's best to avoid them and not make any contact. Number 14, Thessaloniki, Greece. An interesting fact about Greece is that Thessaloniki is the ideal Greek beach vacation destination. The city is gorgeous and well located for day trips to nearby Halkidiki, but it's also crowded and busy. This creates the perfect breeding ground for petty crime. As a tourist, it's not advised that you wander alone around Lahano Kipoi, Ignatia Street, and suburbs like Dendropotamus. But if you keep your valuables close and your wits about you, there is a medium to low risk of bag snatching and other theft. I felt very safe when I visited Thessaloniki. Safety tip, this is one of the most walkable cities in Greece. So to enjoy this but avoid being a victim of crime, plan your routes before you leave your accommodation. Number 13, Warsaw, Poland. Warsaw is generally a safe city, but its high levels of poverty have led to an increase in petty crime. Pickpocketing and phone snatching are the most common crimes reported by tourists, so it's important to be aware of your surroundings at all times. Scammers are also prevalent and target tourists where they can. But Poland's government is working hard to combat the crime in Warsaw, and you'll likely see heavy police presence in the city. Safety tip. The Praga district is one of the more dangerous spots in Warsaw, so avoid this area if you're alone. Number 12, Belgrade, Serbia. The biggest threats in Belgrade are pickpockets and muggings, but otherwise, it's relatively safe. Tourists are frequent targets for theft, so it's important to be aware of your surroundings at all times and keep a close eye on your belongings. Another safety concern is the floating nightclubs run by the Balkan Mafia. These clubs can be quite dangerous if and when fights break out, as they often get violent. But most of the time, these clubs are just a place for people to enjoy themselves. Safety tip, another potentially dangerous space for tourists in Belgrade is sports games, where there have been reports of violence. It's best to avoid these events if possible, or at least stay away from the rowdiest fans. Number 11, Sofia, Bulgaria. Sofia is an up and coming destination for tourists, but there are still some dangerous neighborhoods. The areas with high tourist traffic also have the highest risk of petty crimes. Pickpocketing is common in tourist heavy areas, and muggings have been reported in the city. Scams are also prevalent in Sofia, so be sure to know who you're dealing with before handing over any money or information. The city has an unusual number of stray dogs running around, which can be dangerous if they attack. If you do come across a stray dog, keep your distance. Safety tip, be on the lookout for suspicious activity when exploring the city, especially near tourist sites. Be extra cautious during evening hours, as crime tends to increase after dark. It's best to travel in groups when possible and avoid any unfamiliar or secluded areas. Number 10, Kiyu, Ukraine. If I took into account the military factor, then Kiyu, of course, is in the first place. But let's discard this fact and see what else is dangerous in Kiyu. Kiyu is a vibrant city with plenty to offer visitors, but its political instability has led to high levels of corruption and crime. Petty crime, such as pickpocketing and phone snatching, is common in public areas. Tourists are frequent targets for thieves. Scammers are also known to operate in the city, so be wary of strangers offering you help or deals that sound too good to be true. Be especially careful when withdrawing money from ATMs, as there have been reports of card skimming in Kiyu. Safety tip, it's a good idea to keep your passport and other important documents in a safe place, such as a hotel safe or money belt. Make sure that you're always aware of your surroundings and never enter unfamiliar areas after dark. Number 9. Riga, Latvia. Riga is known as a beautiful, peaceful city and I really like it. But it still has its dark corners, with pickpocketing and muggings being the most common crimes in the city. These tend to occur around popular tourist spots, such as Old Town and Freedom Monument. You will mostly encounter bag snatching in crowded streets, so it's best to keep your bags close and always be aware of your surroundings. The risk of terrorism is also present in Riga, so be sure to check the latest travel warnings and always keep an eye out for suspicious activity. 
safety tip, be extra careful when using public transport as pickpockets often target travelers on buses and trams. It's best to carry your bag close to you at all times and hesitate to give money or personal possessions if asked by strangers. Number 8. Stockholm, Sweden At first glance, Stockholm is a peaceful, calm place that has very low crime rates. But, like all cities, it still has its dangers. Pickpocketing is the most common crime in the city, with public transport stations and tourist attractions being particularly prone to this type of theft. Scams are also common in Stockholm, so be sure to know who you're dealing with before handing over any money or information. In general, take the same precautions when traveling to Stockholm as you would in any other city, such as being aware of your surroundings and not leaving personal items unattended. Follow these tips and you should have a safe and enjoyable time in Stockholm. Safety tip, Rinkby is one area in Stockholm that frequently experiences violence, most in the form of street fights. So it's best to avoid these areas after dark. Number seven, Bucharest, Romania. Bucharest is a city full of culture and history, but it also has its share of crime. Pickpocketing and mugging are common in crowded areas such as public transport stations, parks, tourist attractions, and markets. In addition, there have been reports of theft from parked cars. Scammers are also known to operate in the city, especially targeting tourists as they board trains and buses. But it is good to note that crime in Bucharest has been on a steady decline, and it's a brilliant city to visit. Safety tip, if you don't drink in nightclubs, keep up the good work and stay healthy and strong. Number six, Porto, Portugal. Portugal's second largest city is a beautiful place to visit, but it also has its fair share of crime. Pickpocketing, burglaries, and muggings occur in the downtown area and on public transport. There are also parts of the city that have drug problems, such as the Rua Vila Nova de Faz, Ca, and Rua Peso da Argua areas. Be particularly careful when traveling in these areas and avoid any dark streets. Safety tip, avoid walking around these areas late at night and never carry large amounts of cash in public. Also, make sure your hotel or accommodation is well recommended and secure. Number five, Brussels, Belgium. If you've ever been to Belgium, you'll know it's a country full of friendly faces and bustling cities. Brussels is no exception, but there have been reports of pickpocketing and muggings in the city center. These are mostly confined to the main tourist spots and public transport hubs. Be vigilant when walking around the city center, especially at night. Avoid traveling alone late at night in deserted areas, and always take licensed taxis from reputable companies that you have pre-booked. Safety tip, this city has also been the victim of terrorist attacks, and there is a chance of another occurring. So it's best to stay up to date with travel warnings and always be aware of your surroundings. Number four, Madrid, Spain. While Madrid, Spain is another city known to be generally safe for tourists, there have been reports of pickpocketing and muggings. These incidents tend to happen in areas with large crowds, like on public transport and at tourist attractions. In addition, the La Latina district has seen a rise in crime over the past few years. This area is home to some of the city's most popular bars and restaurants, so be sure to take extra precautions when traveling in this area. Safety tip, don't become a statistic, avoid anyone who seems to offer you something you didn't ask for. Scams are common here, and they target tourists who are unaware. Number 3. Paris, France How dangerous could the city of love really be? Well, a trip to Paris is generally very safe for tourists. But there have been reports of pickpocketing and bag snatching in the city's main tourist spots like Montmartre and the Louvre. In addition, subway stations are known to be dangerous at night. The areas around Les Halles, Chetelet Les Halles, and Gare du Nord can be particularly dangerous after dark. Be sure to take extra precautions when traveling around these areas. Safety tip, keep your belongings close to you and don't carry large amounts of cash in public. Also, always stay in well-lit areas, especially at night. Number two, London, UK. The UK's capital is an incredible city, but it also has its fair share of crime. Most of the city is safe, with 24-hour public transport and well-lit areas around bars and restaurants. As someone who lives in London, I generally feel safe but I know where to go and not go. The most dangerous areas are around the East End where there is often gang violence and drug dealing. Here, you'll want to stick to the main roads and avoid unlit areas. In the city center and tourist districts, it's mostly safe during daytime hours. But at night, pickpocketing and muggings can become more common in London. Safety tip, don't go out alone at night and always be aware of your surroundings. 
Make sure your belongings are with you at all times, especially on public transport. Number one, Amsterdam, Netherlands. For the most part, Amsterdam is a safe city for tourists, but it is a busy destination with throngs of visitors arriving each year. So there will always be opportunistic crimes happening in and around the city, but especially in the red light district. Crime in Amsterdam is largely concentrated in the nightlife districts and mainly involves pickpocketing at train stations and on public transport. Often, the victims find themselves inebriated or alone and unsure of where they are. Staying in a group and keeping yourself safe while out enjoying the night is important here. Safety tip, be aware of your surroundings and don't leave any belongings unattended. Also, never take a taxi from the streets as they are often not legally registered.